Welcome everyone to part four of our lesson. Now, if you are using Simfig Studios uh, to animate the ball, uh, you don't have to listen to this section, but if you want to increase your uh, skills in animation, then by all means, you can watch it. It's not a problem at all. You can in fact even attempt to do the animation using this new uh, tool. So if you are not able to install Simfig Studios at home, then what I would like you to do is to go to this website called flipanim.com. And as soon as you go to the website, this is the page that you are presented with. On the top here, you will see some other people's animations that they have uploaded to their website. You can watch these if you wish, but more importantly, you will be making your animation here on these pages and uh, you know it will work sort of like a flip book so if i just show you very quickly so i'm going to draw one item here i can add a new page and i can sort of see what's uh, in the previous page before this one i'm going to draw the ball here again add a new page and then draw another ball here so then if i play this I can see my animation, which is the ball moving from the upper part of the paper all the way to the bottom. Now, obviously this isn't very nice, so I'm going to delete these pages like so. So to add a page, we can click on the green plus. To remove a page, we can press on the red minus. And to create a new page, but duplicate the drawing of the previous page, we can click this one. So if I press it now, it gives me a second page uh, and the previous drawing that was on the previous page is present here as well. So what you can do here is uh, you can use the tools available to you to animate the ball going down and up, bouncing on the spot. Now, unfortunately, it's not the best drawing program because you know, you're going to have to use a mouse. If you have a drawing tablet at home, then by all means use it. And if you're doing this on a, on a tablet, then I'm sure you can get better drawings. Now I'm not looking for quality here, uh, just as long as the ball is bouncing up and down using the storyboard. Now what you can do is you can zoom into this just so that you can get a better, uh, better lines on your, on your uh, drawings. And you can use these squares to help you as well. So if I want to draw the position of the first ball, then what I could do is I could just use these uh, squares to create a nice circle. It's not the best one ever, but it is there. I can add a second page. Then I want to draw the position of the sort of light orange yellow ball. I'm going to draw that right here like so and then draw the third one on the third page so the fully orange one we're going to draw that but now it's a little bit stretched out so it's not going all the way to the ends of the squares even though this one does look like it's doing that right we're going to go to the fourth frame let's do the purple one then we can Draw something like this okay uh, to erase anything you can use the uh, right click on your mouse and that will erase part of your drawing we can add a new frame let's do the blue one over here so let's go about here I think there we go mm -hmm. and just, just maybe erase some of this section and then go for the green keyframe. Okay, that's a little bit, you know, not to my liking. I can press Control Z to undo that. Uh, there we go. Um, that's not as good as I want it to be. So let's try that again. There we go. I'm quite happy with that. Um, and then we're going to do this orange one that's bouncing on the ground here. So we could, because we've run out of space, we could even, we're going to add a new page. 
nearly forgot about that one. And then we could draw something like this. And then add a new page. And then the ball is going to be fully flat on the underground. Now, if I preview this, there we go. It's not so bad, especially using an online editor like this. Uh, what you can do is maybe speed up the animation uh, by dragging this along to the left and just wait for it to render out a little bit. And there we go. Okay, now again, it is up to you to do the rest of the animation of the ball uh, traveling upwards. And then once you play that, it should loop in on itself and it will create an animation of a bouncing ball. Now to submit your work, what you need to do is go to the settings down here, press on this icon with the red arrow, and this will download the animation to your computer. And then you simply just submit this file that has been downloaded. If you want to have a bit more fun and edit the look of the ball, then use this uh, or these tools over here to change the color of your brush, the size of your brush, and even work with other types of brushes. You've even got a, oh, that did not work as intended. Uh, there we go. You can mess around with these tools here like this. Okay, good luck with the animation. All the best.